Alien X, one of the most controversial cartoon characters ever. And today, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna power scale. I'm gonna tell you how strong he is. In his first appearance, Alien X shows the ability to control time, which gives us just a glimpse into his real power. In one of his only fights, if not his only fight in the whole franchise, we see him fight the Galactic Gladiator, another Celestial Sapien, showing that at the very least most Celestial Sapiens are somewhat relative. In this fight, he shows the ability to clone himself a dozen times. In the Galactic Gladiator, who should have basically the same power, shows the ability to grow to the size of a galaxy. And in order to defeat him, Alien X uses all of his clones to create a galaxy-sized black hole to defeat the Galactic Gladiator. But that is actually not that impressive, because in the same show, in only episode 7 of Omniverse, we are introduced to the Annihilark, which was made by higher dimensional beings in order to create universes. However, if this device is detonated in a place where there is already a universe, the device will destroy the universe. And Alien X is not only able to survive and tank that attack, but also he is able to immediately recreate the universe with just a wave of his hand. And in a promotional comic info thing, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it is stated that Ben is scared of using Alien X because he is capable of destroying entire universes. Yes, multiple universes. So it seems that at the very least Alien X can destroy a universe or create a universe or multiple universes. In the same place the statement about him being able to destroy multiple universes comes from, there is also a statement saying that Alien X is Ben's most powerful alien, which is impressive because Ben has feedback, who can hold and redirect the Big Bang with his power and shoot it as an attack. But what's even more impressive is that he would also have to be stronger than Clockwork, who can recreate all timelines or almost all timelines after Vilgax destroyed them all with a Chronosapien time bomb. And when it comes to how impressive this clockwork feat is, well, it comes down to how many timelines or universes there are in Ben 10. And there seems to be an infinite amount. Not only is this stated by several people working on the show, but Professor Paradox mentions it, and in Heroes United, it's stated again. Yeah, the crossover between Generator X and Ben 10. Which, in context, it makes sense that they will mention there's infinite universes in a plotline which requires cross-universal travel for them to go from one universe to another. It's not just some out-of-context weird statement coming from nobody. And it's even supported by Derek J. Wyatt, for example. And though this is more of a comedic answer, DJW says that Alien X would need only a few thoughts to be able to destroy the multiverse. And there's other statements from other people working on the show agreeing that he can destroy universes or the multiverse. And maybe on their own, those statements from the show and from people working on the show wouldn't be the most reliable thing ever, but when you combine all of them, there is seems to be preponderance of evidence showing that Alien X is universal to multiversal. However, he doesn't stop here. His power actually goes way beyond that. Because, for example, in the finale of Omniverse, 
with only a little of his DNA, an arm and a sword to be exact, Ben breaks an extra dimensional barrier that is hard to break by even five dimensional beings by the name of Cantamelia and it's actually meant to protect them as well, meaning that Alien X and his powers are not only extra dimensional but five dimensional. The Forge of Creation, which is the home of the Celestial Sapiens, is said to hold the greatest power in the universe. Keep in mind that the universe has the Annihil Arc that can destroy the universe and the Chronosapien Time Bomb which can basically destroy the multiverse. And the Celestial Sapiens and the Forge of Creation are still considered the greatest power in the universe. Which is consistent with Alien X being multiversal. Furthermore, the Chrono Navigator is also said to be able to destroy the multiverse and existence itself. And the Forge of Creation is still considered superior, as well as obviously the Celestial Sapiens within it. There's also the fact that Paradox, who has and uses the Chrono Navigator, thinks that the Celestial Sapiens, or considers them at least, omnipotent, which obviously doesn't mean that they're literally omnipotent. I mean, for one, there's multiple of them and omnipotence can be divided or shared and Alien X himself has struggled to fight the Galactic Gladiator and defeated him so neither of them could be omnipotent as well. However, it does tell us that Paradox thinks of them as that strong compared to him who holds the Chrono Navigator and has perfect mastery over space and time themselves. Now there's also the argument of there being 17 spatial dimensions which it's brought up when Max and Asmuth are talking about the map of infinity. However, this statement doesn't necessarily have to refer to spatial dimensions. It could just refer to dimensions as in other dimensions, alternate dimensions, universes, right? So, the statement is dubious at best, but at the same time, it doesn't really make sense within that context either, because we know there's more than 17 dimensions. So, if anything, this is all just a kind of strange statement overall, just thrown out there. I do not consider anything with this statement to be a really compelling argument. Especially since the Nalgians confirmed that there is at least 26 spatial dimensions already in Alien Force, which is consistent with some interpretations of string theory. And as Alien X and Celestial Sapiens are stated to be beyond time and space, you could argue they are 27th dimensional or above 26 dimensions at the very least, alongside being superior to objects that can affect all of existence, like the Chrono Navigator. Assuming the Chrono Navigator affects all of existence as is stated, and all of existence having 26 special dimensions. But perhaps the thing that is most crazy, and it's usually overlooked, about the Celestial Sapiens and about Alien X, is that they are the ones that change the art style and voice actors of the show. Meaning that anything within the show itself is manipulated and controlled by Celestial Sapiens. With 26 dimensions being in the show. This furthering the argument of Alien X being 27 dimensional. So, in conclusion... Alien X can control time, space, and reality, and existence itself, as well as being beyond it. And he can at the very least 
destroy universes or the multiverse and break five dimensional barriers making him at least five dimensional but at the very most you could argue that he can affect and fundamentally change a 26 dimensional multiverse making him 27 dimensional or for versus battle wiki nerd emoji guys you could argue he is hyperversal and again keep in mind what i said i said that he is five dimensional at the very least and if you want to stretch it he's 27 dimensional however when it comes to the 27 dimensional thing the evidence is probably the slimmest but at least you could argue he's multiversal five dimensional etc one thing I wanna actually debunk is the fact that Alien X or Ben 10 is outer versal because every single cartoon character these days needs to be outer versal because DC and Marvel and SCP and the Cthulhu mythos are outer versal so everyone wants to make their universe outer versal. No, Ben 10 is not outer versal. Or at least with the evidence we have so far. What people used to say it is outerversal is this specific comic, which is not even canon, first of all. It's literally not canon. It's literally just a throwaway comic. But even if it is canon, people take out of context what this page is. In this page, Ben interacts with these aliens who come from another universe. And the aliens present themselves as beings coming from an uncalculable dimension that defies space and time. However, what people don't realize is that they're not talking about the dimension as in a spatial dimension, they're not talking about incalculable or innumerable or infinite spatial dimensions, they're talking about the universe. It's literally stated within the same dialogue that they're talking about the universe. Their specific universe defies or is in disarray with space and time which is impressive because they themselves seem to be very strong if they are from a place that defies space and time itself you might argue that they're like on the level of celestial sapiens or whatever you want to say but that doesn't mean that there's incalculable or immeasurable or whatever spatial dimensions within ben 10 that is never stated that is not what it says you are taking stuff out of context you're just referring to a universe that is so different from Ben's universe that it's literally incalculable. It's, it's where space and time don't work the same way humans can perceive or even space and time doesn't exist perhaps or exist differently beyond the minds of simple humans. But it does not say that there's infinite spatial dimensions. That is, does not. So that has to go. That's a bad argument. That has been debunked. <sighs> but anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. I'm out. Bye.